Hi guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Allie. This is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. Welcome to a surprise bonus episode. You didn't think you'd hear from us this quick, huh? I know, we just missed you that much. <laughs> so much. Actually, I went and got my hair done, and my stylist gave us a really good idea for an episode. So, <laughs> so we're here to do that idea. What up? And it just so happened that today is also the day where you've probably seen it on all your feeds. Spotify is doing their wrapped up thing, so everyone's posting all the songs and people they listen to, which also I have to laugh I don't do Spotify. I do Apple Music. And Apple has finally started to get on board and does this. And it shows you, like, who you listen to the most and whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, my number... You want to guess who my number one artist is? Harry Styles. Isn't this shocking? He's, like, 11th or 12th. What? I know. When I saw that, I was like, this seems wrong. But no. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. Taylor Swift is my number one. But then it's really hilarious because my top album and my top song are not by taylor swift i would have you guess but i don't even think you know him niall horan oh the, the one direction guy <laughs> yes okay so harry's counterpart <laughs> but his new album is my n- most played album uh-huh. and the show is my most played song and i was like that actually that tracks but then i was like but how is taylor swift my most listened to artist <laughs> If Niall's song is I was playing. How interesting. But anyways. Cumulative. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, but Spotify does this handy dandy thing for us where it wraps us and shows us some of our, um, what is it called? Can you think of what I'm trying to say? Um, Shoot, guys. Shows us. Our. Wrap up. Yeah, no, there's a specific word I'm looking for and I can't even think of it. It's out the window. But anyways, it tells us different information about what you guys have been doing with our podcast. And honestly, it's pretty amazing this year. I'm kind of blown away. I don't know about you, Allie. Yeah, I was so excited. Yes. So it starts by telling us in 2023, people were really, really feeling what you do. Are you guys feeling it? Yes. (laughs) I was going to wait for you to answer. And I was like, I hope she answers. Soon. <laughs> so the first thing it tells us, ready? Let's take it from the top. We're going to read you every slide because we're so proud of ourselves. Oh, it thought. follows the little, your little mouse. Mm-hmm. How cute. So our top episode does not surprise me. It's our interview with Matthew Logan. Yes. Great episode. Go yeah. listen. Appreciate it. M- Matt was great. Yeah. It was so fun. It really was. It was. We were so nervous. And then it was like probably my favorite experience i know i loved it Mm-hmm. it was streamed 990 percent more than our average episode <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> that one doesn't make me feel as great <laughs> but to have a celebrity on there <laughs> i know <laughs> and then how does it feel to have gone global great we were streamed in eight countries wow. the united states was our top country with 90 percent of our streams makes sense thanks guys that's where we're from so that makes sense our listeners have good taste this actually just tells us that what they're into which i love number one is comedy number two true crime where are my peeps at who (laughs) listens to my favorite murder and number three is society and culture what is that even i don't know (laughs) (laughs) she's so proud of you guys and loving you and then like why are you listening to this (laughs) Well, no, society and culture, does that fit with us? No. <laughs> My guess is it sounds like like pop culture is what I um, go with. Maybe. Me, I'm thinking like, this is where society is. This is our culture. <laughs> I mean, maybe. And we suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then it tells us music genres. I'm like, why? <laughs> Thanks for listening to pop guys and rock in contemporary country. <laughs> Good taste. <laughs> Uh, but this is what impressed me. Your listeners definitely told their friends about you because you guys have shared our podcast, like direct link, Instagram, 
through text i'm like what wow you all texted about us you, you actually listened to us tell you to share right and you were like this is a really good episode i'm gonna send it to my friend yeah the wow did you look at the one that i sent where it said which one is our most shared uh-uh oh my gosh you want to guess what episode is our most shared episode it's not the matt one uh-uh i just licked my mic <laughs> <laughs> Our first episode? No. <laughs> it's really funny. Which one? You, you, you're done guessing? Oh. It's actually an episode that you were quite surprised by the movie and that you liked it. And it's one of my favorites. Oh, Twilight? No. Oh. <laughs> that I would have. Oh, wait. I knew I liked the one movie. <laughs> over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the didn't like the movie. I liked yeah. the book. No, it's one that you even were able to watch with your kids. And you didn't think you were going to like it. And I watched it with my kids. Fantastic mm -hmm. Mr. Fox. Mm -hmm. That is our most oh. shared episode. Wow. What? <laughs> I know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> there In fact, your most shared episode was Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. But I always, I sit here and tell you guys to share and I really don't think anyone's going to share it. So thank you guys for <laughs> sharing it. Also, thank you for sharing the Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's one of my favorite episodes because I love that movie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> also, y'all have been rating us and we've only been getting five stars. So thanks Don't for that. only. Just be like, we've been getting oh. five stars. <laughs> we've been getting five stars, guys. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Are you a gardener? Uh... Because your podcast saw some nice growth this year. Oh. <laughs> We've gotten 420% more listeners, 252% more streams, 385% more followers, and we have created for 200% more than we did last year. Woohoo! Doesn't feel like it. No. <laughs> Especially with the mini zones. <laughs> and then for 28 fans... You guys, we are apparently a top podcast or in your top 10 podcasts, Look at that. which blows my mind. Yep. And then for five of you, oh wait, no, no for, for 22 of you, we are the top five. Woo, what happened to those other six people? What the heck? We're Where not you good go? enough to be your top five. <laughs> Whereas me, I'm like, thank you guys. Thank you. 22 people. <laughs> Just kidding. And then, drum roll, please. <laughs> We're the number one podcast for five of you. So, thank you. <laughs> five. Okay, then where'd all my, my what is that? 19, that's 22 <laughs> minus five. 17. Where'd the rest of the 17 go? I don't know. <laughs> but hey. I'm looking at you. Those five of you, thank you. Yeah, you rock. We appreciate you. And you top fans. You listen to 1.4 times more of our episodes than other listeners. Wow. Look at what it's doing with I our know. logo. That was weird. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and 80% of you joined us this year. So Look thank you for that. that. I We appreciate you. 2023. Way to go. And yeah, that's it. We'll make a post. We'll show you these statistics awesome. that's what awesome. i was trying to say oh it's awesome slides we got going on here yeah it's pretty exciting we can't wait to see what next year I know. has in store for us should be fun yeah and then the idea that my hairstylist came up with that was so brilliant that i was like how was this not something that i thought of earlier but ali did think of it earlier we just didn't know how to do this with the studios and the strike and everything mm -hmm. So, uh, when was it? What, the 28th of October? It was. 28th of October, we lost a real one, guys. I'm still so sad. It's hard for me to watch Friends. I know. Like, I watch it, and it just, it breaks my heart. For those of you who do not know, <laughs> uh, Matthew Perry passed away, unfortunately. Very, very sadly, especially since I've shared with you all how I literally based my <laughs> basically my personality off of his character no it's just so sad i remember uh we were at our halloween party our little friend's halloween party mm -hmm. and, uh one of my 
friends comes in and he's like, all right, everybody raise your glass. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. And it didn't really click to me. Mm -hmm. Matthew Perry. I know that name. Why do I know that name? And then I was like, (gasps) and I just was devastated. I got on my phone. I was like, he must be lying. And I was like, oh, my God. Well, what's funny is at my Halloween party that I was at, I'm sitting here trying to be host. We just start the like scavenger hunt and I get a text from Lexi. And it's, did you see that Chandler died? And I was like, the fuck you're lying. <laughs> I like, I then start Googling. Cause I'm like, obviously she like fell for some clickbait or whatever. Like I gotta go figure this yeah. out. And then I get a text from Sierra, from Amy, from like million other people, people who I haven't even talked to in years, text me knowing that I'm going to be affected by this. <laughs> and that's when I realized I'm like, Oh crap. I need to just focus on this little scavenger hunt that I'm doing and not start feel my emotions right now. (laughs) So that was a hard day for me. Yeah. So we didn't know how to bring, we wanted to bring him up and honor him because he's been such a big part of our lives, but with the studios we couldn't. So we're doing that now. Yes. Um, I also, it, it even breaks my heart even more because I just in the summer, I think it was, Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was spring. No, it was summer because you did it for the summer reading program challenge. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, During the summer, I listened to Matthew Perry's autobiography. And learning everything about his life just made me feel even more for him. Like, I had seen on Facebook groups, I'm in friends' Facebook groups, and a lot of people were like, I just read Matthew Perry's book, and now it kind of like makes me see the show in a different way and I can't watch it anymore and like it ruined the show for them but for me it just broke my heart even more because he talks about how each season you can tell what he was addicted to at Mm -hmm. the point in time whether it was his drugs or his drugs his pills or his alcohol Mm -hmm. based on how he looks and he talks about how he literally was like just waking up still drunk or messed up on his pills and getting even more drunk and how the rest of the cast is like maddie you gotta slow down Mm -hmm. and it talks about the thing that kills me is he talked about how badly he wanted to be a dad oh Mm -hmm. he was like that's my one goal in life right now is to be able to settle down and have a kid like if (laughs) i can find someone that loves me enough and he talks about all of his heartbreaks and he ironically when his girlfriend that got away her name was rachel Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. And did you know that he also really hardcore tried to date Jen? Really? Yeah. I did not. And she kept, she was like, nah, we just got to be friends. And he kept like crushing him. So it was really Uh, sad. (laughs) Yeah. I know I have to read it. Uh, A listener, John, you. you, Not my John. (laughs) Not Bree's John. He got me the book and I haven't been able to sit down with my crazy kids yet and read it. I really liked listening the reason why i listened to this audiobook was because for the library summer reading program you were supposed to listen to an oh it was just supposed to be a book written by the author that was read by the author right written by the author oh my god i can't believe i just said that (laughs) read by the author that it was written by and it took me a hot minute i was like i don't know what book i'm gonna listen to and then i was like oh i know the exact book i'm gonna listen to and i started it and at first i didn't I was nervous about it. I was like, ooh, scary. And then I it's scary just because of what I had read in the Facebook groups. Right. But then I literally I listened to it. I think it took me maybe three days because I only listened to it when I'm driving. So I wasn't about to drive all day. But I blazed through it and it just it made me love him even more. I was like you hands down you've had your struggles i understand why you've had your struggles also i found i don't think i ever told you this i found out that his father-in-law is keith morrison who is the guy from dateline oh (laughs) and he has a true crime podcast that i just found out about (laughs) oh cool yeah so he's like he's basically a true crime god and so when he started talking about that and he said that his mom found love with him, I was like, hold on. You grew up with this guy. <laughs> like, so it's his stepdad. Yeah. Oh, how fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
was good. Mm-hmm. It was still so sad. Oh, it breaks my heart. And there's just so many lines now in Friends that, like, it just, like, kind of gets at you. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, they there was, you know, all a bunch of TikTok compilations and everything, right? Of, like, episodes that just hit different mm-hmm. now. Because it's, like, one of them is, like... When he's like, when I go, the only thing that'll be left was is like my aspirin on this chair in one of the episodes where he feels like he's not worth a lot. And it's like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Or then, I don't know. There was a couple other ones too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is more funny, but sad at the same time. When they're doing their engagement pictures, Monica and Chandler. <laughs> and she's like, it was actually really sad. Because she her line is like, it's supposed to be happily couple engaged, not local woman saves drowning moron and it's like he drowned you guys and i'm like oh that's so sad oh the, all these lines uh, now i'm like oh my gosh mm-hmm. have you st- they release did they release the autopsy did they find out really what was what happened i don't know i didn't I have not looked up i haven't either because i, I didn't want to crush my heart right they did say it wasn't foul play. There was no drugs or alcohol involved from the first thing I heard. But his toxicology reports came back clean. Good. Good. My guess, my mom's theory is yeah. that like he had a heart attack or something because his his organs were not doing good from all the years, right? Mm-hmm. So well, he talks about in the book um, how... Well, first off, every time he got off the pills, he went through hardcore, really bad withdrawals where he ended up at the hospital all the time. But then he went into the hospital for one of his organs. I can't remember. And he had to have a really big surgery and he thought he was going to die then. Right. Because I, my mom was telling me about that. It's like a you don't survive the surgery mm-hmm. type of thing. Like mm-hmm. or this whatever happened. Oh, and he like went into a coma and everything, yes. too. Mm-hmm. But he survived. So he's like, I got to do something with this. And so then he just became like he was the emblem of when your life freaking sucks, you can make it out of it. And he was that was what he preached. And he just seemed like such a good guy. Apparently his cause of death has been deferred, which means that it's yet to be determined. We might never know, but yeah, I know. I just think it's sad. Other than friends. Mm-hmm. What is something that he's been in that you love? Uh, Sierra made me watch Fools Rush In because that's one of her favorite movies. Uh-huh. And at first I was like, it's just going to be a cheesy 90s movie with Matthew Perry. Mm-hmm. But then I watched it and oh my God, I love that movie so much. It's a good one. If you haven't seen it. I have not. You need to watch it. It's good. I He talks a lot about filming that too really yeah i like uh whole nine yards that's a good one but it was that they lost a bet because he was like one of them said it's gonna break certain records at opening weekend and the other one's like no i think it was bruce willis thought it would and matthew perry's like no and so no. vice versa vice versa yeah bruce and, was like this is a dumb movie <laughs> and oh. Matt, the sad thing about that bet was it was more so matthew wanted to be a movie star Matthew wanted it to do good. Uh, and he was like, yes. And that's why they ended up doing the sequel. And then he was a dick on the set. And so then it was. Uh, it's actually really sad, this whole series. That's sad. <laughs> but um, but I found out that Bruce Willis donated all his money. I love that. Mm-hmm. From being on Friends. Sorry, I should finish my sentence. He donated his money, <laughs> his paycheck from Friends. And he was on it quite a bit. Yeah, he was. He was in the episode of The Simpsons. Math? Oh, he played himself. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, yes, he was, but he played himself. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of sad because a lot of his movies, you then realize it was almost like being on Friends wasn't enough for him and he wanted more really Mm-hmm. yeah and then he overloaded himself and then he went and was basically not sober the whole time 
Okay, yeah. I was living it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that they got to do the reunion, though. The Friends reunion yeah. before yeah. all this. Yeah, that would have been even more sad. But yeah, did you ever watch his Mr. Sunshine show? No. I I actually, it made me really sad. I When I was living in L.A., I'm mm. actually glad you made me remember this because I would have totally spaced and then kicked myself later. When I was living in L.A., I went to, I watched quite a few episodes of Melissa and Joey get recorded. Uh-huh. And it was such a fun experience. So I kept wanting to like go watch a bunch of other live studio audience ones. And Matthew Perry was doing the odd couple. Oh yeah. yeah. And I was so excited. I was like, yes, I'm going to go see it. Especially since I had seen a bunch of behind the scenes footage of everyone on the friend set. And he was so always like lively and having fun with people. Well, I also then came to find out from his book that basically at this point in time he was relapsing and was trying to keep his shit together for the show but he just was not in a good headspace but he like watching him live at that recording almost made me not a fan he was so he didn't seem nice he didn't like a bunch of fans in the audience kept like hi maddie hi maddie he ignored them all. Wow. And I swear every time like they would stop to like have him do a different joke or something, he was always just kind of a dick about it. And I was like, what the heck? And even like afterwards, me and Amy had gone and on our drive home, we were like, that was kind of weird. That didn't seem like the Matthew Perry that we see on right. friends or like in those behind the scenes. What is, what is up? Come to find out he was on drugs and, was not happy with life and wanted to basically achieve the fame that he had gotten from friends. Cause he didn't want to just be known for friends. Aww. That's the other thing that kills me. He didn't want to just be known for friends. And then guess what? That's all he's going to get known for. I know. But he was so good on it. Like mm-hmm. it was, he could have been known for a lot worse. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And also it was supposed to be his buddy's role, his roommate. Oh yeah. His roommate was who got the, like script for it to audition oh. and then matt helped him read lines for it uh-huh. and he was like oh i want this role but then he was like oh that's a dick move <laughs> but then his buddy got a different show that was gonna offer it more and so matt was like okay i'm going in <laughs> dude i bet his buddy's pissed um mm-hmm. like man because, i could have been on that show yeah especially since the other show uh flopped yeah Yep. I also found out that he's best friends with the guy who plays David. I almost called him Mike. That would have been funny. Oh, how funny. Phoebe's Russian scientist. Really? Yeah. yeah. How cool. And I love him because he casts, or that's why Matt was on an episode of Simpsons because Hank, who is David, it, it, he voices so many people on The Simpsons. I can't even list them all really? for you. Yeah. Oh, how funny. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was the book's very insightful. I loved it a lot. Made me love him even more. That made it even sadder when he died for me. I know. He's definitely going to be one of the deaths that I know right where I was. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, it sucks too because, like, obviously you're always like, oh man, all these people are going to probably go before I go and it's going to be so sad. Mm-hmm. But, like, you know, I didn't think that the friends cast were going to go when I was 30. <laughs> I know we're their age, yeah. basically, when they mm-hmm. were filming. That's, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's gross to think about. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm that old. <laughs> 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 but, uh. oh, yeah. But we wanted to give him a his own little proper in memoriam. Yes. Yeah. So we hope you didn't, we didn't bum you out during this holiday season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We planned this release pretty good. <laughs> so good. I didn't even think about that. Uh, go watch Friends. It'll make you even more sad. I was going to say it'll cheer you up. But it, won't. it might cheer you up, but then you'll feel sad because yeah. you're like, this isn't what he only wanted to be known by. And then you'll feel guilty for watching it. So go watch mm-hmm. one of his other movies. Yeah. Go watch Fool's Rush In, guys. I um, love that one. I might have to. It's a really cute movie. It looks cute from the little poster. Yeah. Preview. And... Uh, they play the song that everyone loves to play at weddings. Wise man 
Russians and mm. only fools mm. Russian, but I can't help falling in love with you. you. Yeah. Did not play that at my wedding. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yep. I think it's very cliche. <laughs> I'm going to request it at your wedding. <laughs> Please don't. I'll go to the DJ. Turn it off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, oh my god or i'll just be drunk and like yeah, party matthew perry <laughs> he's mvp <laughs> oh man uh, all right okay well right, guys happy holidays yes and uh we'll see you yeah coming up season two three four three four right <laughs> three four three four season <laughs> Three, four, January 1st. See you there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you gave us five beautiful stars, reviewed, and subscribed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, on Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and on TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Ashen Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See, See you, you next time. time.